Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, students. How are you? I hope you are all well. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is the voice clear for you? Very good. Thank you, girls. Thank you. I hope you are well too. Well, uh, you know, we followed the second chapter until the discussion of system architecture and peer to peer model. And you see, uh, like other distributed systems classes, I plan to end, to finish this chapter here. And you can read the rest of the slides uh, by yourself. But uh, the exam is just what I taught. The final exam is just about what I taught. So these parts that I skip do not come in the exam. Why I omit these slides or uh, I skip these slides? Because uh, we have some more important contents and I prefer to study and teach those slides and those lectures. They are more important. So I skip these slides. You can uh, study it by yourself. Got it? Clear? Okay. So, chapter two for the examination for final exam. Uh, you must, you must uh, read this chapter, chapter two. Uh, still here. Structured peer-to-peer -peer architecture. And these slides are omitted. Okay, so Again, I'm looking for the PDF file to upload on the Darso website. Please wait. I'm looking for the PDF file. Mm.
Okay, I found it. It's being uploaded and we must wait for one minute or, or two minutes, I don't know. It takes some time to complete the upload. And tell me about yourself. How is this semester for you? And what about your your other courses in this semester? Is everything okay with other courses, other lessons? Have you had midterm examination until now? Midterm examination, have you had? I wish you successful, okay, good. Okay, so chapter three, Bismillah Bil Mahdi. In chapter three, we want to discuss about migration. Migration, um, if you remember, is an important concept in distributed system. It's very important in all distributed systems. What is migration? Can you remember? We had we, we talked about migration in previous sessions. Yes, it's about migration transparency, exactly, exactly. It's about, uh, we discussed that transparency is very important in distributed systems. And we said that uh, transparency has different forms. For example, location transparency, uh, I don't know, uh, relocation transparency, replication transparency, and migration transparency is a form, is a form of transparency. So in this chapter we want to study migration in detail. What is migration? And then uh, we, we will conclude that what is migration transparency and why are we looking for migration transparency? So, firstly, what is migration? Can you guess what is migration? You can speak. I can enable your microphone if you want. So, if you are ready to speak, just raise your hand then I will enable your microphone and you can start to talk. As you can see, I use uh, my professor slides. Uh, this, this slides is provided by Professor Mahmoud Nahibzadeh. He was my professor at Fredos University of, uh, of Mashhad and uh, indeed he is a very deep man, 
with a plenty of knowledge in computer science. So recently, uh, recently has he has uh, retired, and uh, I, I always respect for him. This chapter is from him. Okay, so. As I said, one of the important issues in distributed systems is migration. Uh, it is possible to move a process from one place to another in distributed system to do a specific job. This process may or may not return to the source machine. The process is not the only thing that we can uh, transfer it or it can migrate. We can transfer threads, computation, data or application from one machine to another machine in distributed systems. I suppose you know what is process and thread. Do you know what is process? What is thread? If you have passed operating system in your bachelor, uh, you should certainly know about process and thread. All the students, all the students, please answer me. Do you know uh, what is process and thread? All the students, are you there? Where are you? I ask you a simple question. Do you know what is process and thread? In operating system, process. No voice? Miss Russia, don't you don't you hear me? And you will not back the process that performs a specific task. Uh, who is fluent in English in, in this class? Who can completely understand what I am saying? Who? Miss Zainab, Miss Zainab, can you can you completely understand what I am saying? Very good. So, can you translate my talks to Arabic for your friends? So, I can be sure that all the students understand the lesson correctly, completely. Okay, we can test it. Okay, we can try it. We can try it. Uh, now, please raise your hand. I want to enable your microphone. Please raise your hand. Thank you. I enabled your microphone. Okay, so I talk in English. I talk, uh, I, I teach uh, the lesson in, in English, and then you can 
uh, translate it to Arabic for your friends. Uh, I'm talking about process and thread. When you are uh, programming, when you are programming uh, in, with C++, for example, you have a code. This is your code. But when you start to execute, to run this code, it will be a process. It will be a process. So process is a program that is under execution in computer. Translate, please. No, I can't hear you, Miss Zainab. Your microphone is enabled, okay, but I cannot hear you. Hello, doctor. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, clear and obvious, yeah. You can translate if you understand. Sorry, sir, I just uh, lost the connection when you talk with me, so I can't hear what you say before. Can you repeat Okay, no problem. I repeat it again. I repeat it again. Okay, no problem. So, uh, we want to talk about process migration, but firstly, we must know what is process and thread. Uh, Assume that you are writing a program with C or C++. This is your code. When you execute and run your code, it would be a process. So process is a program that is under execution. Translate. Okay. Uh, we are talking about the process of migration. البروسس يعني هي معالجة تخيل انه انت قاعد او يعني جاي تنفذين برنامج بلغة C++ فهذا البرنامج اللي الكود اللي جاي تنفذي جاي تعالجي جاي شغلي هاي معناها المعالجة اوكي سو ذاتس ات اوكي سو ثريد از ا بارت اوف يور كود بارت اوف يور كود ات كان بي اسيومد از ا لايت بروسس a light process, a small process. So a thread is like a process, it is a task. It's a task that is running under execution. Translate. Okay. I'm a thread who is a little bit of this code. It's like a small process. It's a small process or a task that is very important to the process that you can do. This thread is a little bit of it. Okay, sir. Well, a process with registers and flags and the program counter, that's the most important thing in process. And a series of uh, other things such as PCB or process control block is now. Okay, so each process has some data which data registers flags program counter or pc and pcb or pro, uh, process control block pcb contains some information about the uh, program that is under execution such as local variables and uh, process name and process creation time and also uh, parent of the process, children of the process, and the state of the process. The state of the process can be uh, running, ready, uh, sleeping, or uh, blocked. Translate, please. Okay. كل uh, process اللي هدات الخاص بها مثل ال register مالته. VCB تحدث لنا عن حالة ال process. Uh, ready مست... يعني جاهز بعده uh, في طور المعالجة أو جاهز uh, 
اللوكال المكان اللي كانت بيه المعالجة وغيرها من التفاصيل هاي اللي تخص البروسيس اوكي سو Uh, children, you were one of the students, Miss Wahab uh, or Miss Rashab. Yeah, uh, he he asked, "What is children of process?" Uh, process concept is a very vast uh, concept in operating system. You can you can go back to your bachelor operating system and uh, study about processes and threads in deeply. Okay, so. Uh, it's not our main concept in this uh, in this lesson, and uh, we 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 focus on process migration here. So, if we know what is process, then we can go to process migration concept. Translate. Okay. The 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 goal of this chapter or the lecture is. هو ركز على البروسيس مايجريشن اللي يريد تفاصيل اكثر لازم يراجع البروسيس والثريد بالبكالوريوس اذا اخذته اوكي سو سو وات ايلز ا بروسيس هاف وات ايلز ا بروسيس كان هاف ايفري بروسيس هاز ستاك هاز ا ستاك ا ستاك It, it, it's a it's it's area in main memory to store local variables and addresses. For example, return address when you call a function or procedure. So, Can uh, you all... start, yes, so I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm talking about uh, some data regard to process. data related to process i said each process has uh, registers and also flags and also pcb pcb contains many information about the process and each process has a stack area a stack is area in main memory to store to store some information about for example addresses when we call a procedure in program uh, the return address must be stored so it is stored in stack also uh, we have a heap area for processes heap area we must use this organization when we want to use uh, advanced data structure advanced data structure such as linked list linked list is stored in heap area so each process has heap area translate okay so uh, each process uh, كل uh, معالجة uh, يكون at a stack area ال stack area هاي موجودة بال main memory بالذاكرة الرئيسية uh, نخزن بيها information مثل address مثل يعني من نستدعي احنا في البرنامج لازم نسجل التاريخ والوقت اللي استدعيناه به Also, we have to add another thing called hip area. When we use the advanced, meaning the more advanced, we need to use all processes. We need to have a hip area. I hope you are able to understand my words. If you don't understand anything, you can write it down. Okay, sir. Good. Thank you, Miss Zaina. Okay, so a process is like a tree uh, when we want to move a tree uh, we have to move all its components like trunk like branches leaves and everything so to move a process to another location we must create a process at our destination and provide it with everything it needs for example We have to uh, we have to provide memory for the uh, for 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 storing a space, and we have to make a PCB for for that process, and we have to create everything we said uh, that a process needs in destination machine. Translate. 
اوكي سو آه البروسيس يكون آه مثل الشجرة إذا أريد نقل شجرة من مكان إلى مكان لازم نقل الشجرة هي وجذورها أوراقها وملحقاتها هذا الشيء هم مثلا يكون بالبروسيس إذا أريد ننقل البروسيس من إذا من مكان إلى مكان إلى مكان ثاني لازم نوفر بال destination بالمكان الهدف اللي إحنا رايحين له نوفر له كل الأشياء المناسبة حتى يتنفذ هذا البروسيس ميموري غيرها وغيرها من التفاصيل حتى يتنفذ هذا البروسيس بالمكان الثاني destination أوكي سو Uh, now I want to know if all the students uh, have understood what is the process migration. Victoria said that we confirm to the process migration. Good. So. Uh, please uh, give me some reasons why, why, uh, why, um, why do we want to migrate a process? Why we, why do we want to transfer a process from one machine to another machine? Why? Give me some reasons. You can translate my question for your friends. Miss Zena, are you there? Where is my translator? For the speed of implementation, I cannot hear you again. I cannot hear you. To give to client an answer for his request? No. No, it's not the reason. I said, I said to you that process, uh, that migration is very important in distributed systems. Now I want to know why, why is it important? Why is it important migration? The doctor says why migration, the hijra, is important in distributed system. Can you hear me now, sir? Yes, now I can hear you. Because of the momentum on the server, please client answer no. Okay, it's good to guess. Uh, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad to to hear these reasons from you. But uh, one good reason for migration is load sharing. Load sharing, as you can see here. Uh, there are many reasons, in fact, to migrate, but one reason is load sharing. Uh, firstly, you must know that there are two concepts. One is load sharing and the other is load balancing. Load sharing means sharing the load between several processors. Sharing the load between several processors. Load balancing means trying to balance the load of all processors. Trying to balance the load of all processors. Translate this later. Okay, a comma for man who will load sharing will load balancing. The load sharing for Mushara Kitil Hamil, so Zia Hamil Alal Lebrosis. أما load balancing who will help to wazen at the grid or to pass from the house or توازن الأحمال بين الـ Processing Okay, sir uh, 
Load sharing means uh, when a processor is overloaded. I mean, it is very heavy. It's too busy. When a processor is too busy, it has many jobs to do. So when a processor is overloaded and heavy, we may want to transfer some of uh, that processor's work to another processor. In this work, uh, we must pay attention to communication, of course. So, uh, process migration could be useful here. Translate. Okay, load sharing. If a can one of the processor heavy, thin, or it can be it's too busy, meaning 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 it's too busy, هذا راح يكون هو اللود شيرنج وتقاسم الاحمال بين البروسيسور هذا واحد من اهم الاسباب اللي يكون عندنا واي يعني ليش عندنا مايجريشن وهما لازم نهتم بالكوميونيكيشن بيناتهم باتصال اوكي سير از ات كلير فور ستودنتس بنات واضح Very good. So, you can see that migration is very important. Uh, the other reason is about communication performance. Communication performance. For example, suppose that there are two processes on two machines, two different machines. These processes interact, interact with each other too much. Tao more interact. So, uh, when these two processes interact each other too much, we have communication cost. The performance may be decreased. What we can do is that we transfer, we transfer one process to the machine that the other process is on. I mean, we can place two processes on the same machine. So. We do not have communication here. So it is a good reason to migrate, to transfer process from one machine to another machine. If it's clear, you can translate. Okay. Uh, the communication performance is a good thing. If we have two procedures, we can communicate with each other. This is possible if there is a request and a request for information or data. راح يكون مثل انكريز راح يقل مستوى المعالجه فشو نسوي راح ننقل واحد من البروسيس يعني ننقل واحد المكان الثاني فراح يكونوا اثنيناتهم في مشين واحد حتى يصير التعامل بيناتهم والاتصال فاطمه اس دو وي ترانسفر اول ذا بروبرتيز اوف بروسيس ات ديبندز وي هاف ديفرنت ميثود وي هاف ديفرنت ميثودز to transfer or for migration. We will talk about it later, okay? So it depends on many things. The other reason about communication, uh, suppose that we have a process on our local machine and this process needs data, data access to the database server. The database is on the other machine. Uh, like the previous example, process interacts with the database too much because it needs data. It is a good idea to transfer this process to the machine that the data is stored on. So in this case, we can also uh, remove communication cost. Yes. Okay, so هدف ثاني من هدف ال migration بال communication بالاتصال إنه تخيلوا إنه إحنا حاسبتنا بال local machine حاسبتنا ال processor مالتنا يتعامل ويا database database موجودة يعني قاعدة البيانات موجودة في حاسبة ثانية فراح يكون أفضل إنه ننقل ال processor مالتنا للمكان اللي يبي database حتى يصير الاتصال بيناتهم. هذا واحد من الأسباب إنه نحتاج المايغريشن. Okay, sir. 
we talked about two main reasons, load sharing and communications performance. But there is another reason too. Availability is another reason for migration. Uh, assume that uh, we have a server. This server provides services for users. And uh, what is important for us is availability of these services. On the other hand, we may need to overhaul the server, overhaul this machine. Do you know what is overhaul, Zainab? Uh, I don't know. Overhaul oh. is is a, is a is a big repair, for example, or big checkup. Uh, it means to check everything of the server to be sure if everything is okay or not. Overhaul, okay. Uh, so, uh, for example, suppose we want to check this server for viruses. So we need to stop the services and then check it for viruses. But one we can do is that transfer all the processes from this server to another machine and then we can overhaul or we can check it for every purpose we want it guarantee the availability why because the processes are not stopped the processes uh, are transferred to another machine and they can continue provide services for users and we can do everything with the server once we finish our work with the server the processes can come back to the server machine it is a good reason for migration clear not really sir can you repeat it okay. again okay pay attention uh, I'm talking about availability. I want to prove that availability is a good reason for migration. Uh, suppose we have a, a server computer. We have a server computer. It provides some services for users. Okay, it do it does some things. It executes some tasks, for example. It's important that this server, these services be available for all users all the time so suppose uh, uh, there is a situation that we need to to scan all this server computer for finding viruses virus computer virus okay so uh, we want to check with antivirus program if we stop all the programs of the server computer and then we check it for uh, antiviruses uh, 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 all the services is stopped but what we can do is that transfer transfer process some processes on this server process programs that are under execution we can transfer the main processes of this server computer to another machine and then we can do everything with this machine with this server computer we can check for finding viruses we can overhaul it or we can make a repair or anything once we finish our job the processes can come back to this server computer so the processes are not stopped they are continue to working, so it is availability. Clear? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. The availability it can يعني التوافر يعني it can the 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 ما ينقطع يعني يكون عمل مستمر مثل ضرب مثال الدكتور انه عندنا حاسبة او سيرفر خادم هذا الخادم ده يعطي داتا ال يعطي خدمة المجموعة من الحواسيب فرضا ردنا نسوي تشيك اب اللي هو اوفر هول هذا نبحث عن الفيروسات او يمكن نسوي سكان ريستارت فهذا راح يؤدي ان توقف كل البروسيس كل المعالجة راح تتوقف اذا ردنا نسوي ريستارت مش راح نسوي راح ننقل العمليات اللي قاعد تجري حاليا ننقلها الحواسيب ثانية ونسوي الريستارت في الحاسبة اللي احنا قاعد نسوي بها البيرسيرفر نسوي الريستارت او يعني نفحص عن الفيروس 
فمن تنتهي العملية نفحص كل شيء تمام نرجع العمليات اللي نقلناها الغير حواسيب اللي كانت أثناء التنفيذ ونقلناها الغير حواسيب آه ترجع مرة ثانية إنه كل شيء بينتهي إذا يعني ما راح يتوقف العمل دائما يكون العمل مستمر حتى لو توقفنا حتى لو وقفنا جزء من المعالجة توقفت الجزء الباقي يكون مستمر إنه راح ننقل الغير مكان وهذا واحد من أهداف المايجريشن. Okay. Utilizing spatial capabilities is another reason for migration. Suppose we have a process on our computer. Our computer is a part of distributed system. And this process is responsible to solve a heavy problem. So it needs, it needs a heavy calculation, computation. So our processor, our processor, our CPU is weak, but we know that there is a strong CPU in this distributed system. We have another machine with stronger, with more powerful CPU. We can transfer this process from our machine to that machine to do, to finish their job because uh, it can use the more powerful processor of that machine. So it is a good reason to migrate, to migrate process. Clear? Okay, so clear. يعني مثل إذا كنا نحتاج إلى خدمة مميزة إذا كان عندنا في التاسك مهمة. كبير. سوري. Optimizing special capabilities. يعني مثل شون خدمات خاصة. تسمعوني هسه بنات؟ اوكي. يعني نتخيل او نفترض انه عندنا فد مهمة بروسيسينج نعرف انه السي بي يو مالتنا ضعيف ما يقدر ينفذها فشو راح نسوي؟ نعرف انه احنا مرتبطين بنظام موزع اكو حاسبة ثانية او اكو فد نظام ثاني او ماشين ثانية السي بي يو مالتها عنده قدرة انه ينفذ هذا التاسك افضل من السي بي يو مالتنا فراح ننقل هذا السي بي يو او ننقل هذه المادة او هاي الداتا او البروسيسينج ننقلها السي بي يو الثاني حتى يقوم تنفيذها يعني هاي معناها اوبتلايزنج uh, سبيشال يعني خدمة خاصة uh, ننقل العمل التاسك من حاسبتنا او من مالتنا السي بي يو السي بي يو الثاني قادر على ادائها افضل من اللي عندنا تمام ثانك يو اوكي So now you know why migration is important in distributed system. There are many good reasons to migrate process. Okay. The other question is that who initiate, who begins migration, who? Uh, user can start migration and also system programmer can start migration or operating system can start it if we have a good operating system it may begins the migration the operating system knows that where is the device and moves the process there or the operating system can detect then the load is too high on this machine. Then it moves some processes to other machines for balancing the load or for sharing the load. So operating system can start migration. Okay. So I am going to migration. You can use the user to process the 
معالجة من مكان إلى آخر وهاتين الـ Operation System إذا كان Operation System نظام التشغيل قوي راح يقدر يتنبأ أو يعرف أنه صار أكو لود لود فهذا اللود شيرنج راح يسوي له نقي راح ينقل البروسيسنج إلى حواسيب أخرى أو إلى معالجات ثانية حتى تقوم بمعالجتها بشكل أسرع إذا اللي راح يبدأ بعملية الهجرة أو يحدد راح نحتاج migration أو لا الـ Operating System واليوزر المستخدم هو يحدد ماذا كان يحتاج أو لا أوكي سير Thank you, thank you very much Welcome sir I talked about what should be migrated. Uh, I said everything. Uh, can you name something that we must transfer with the process for migration? What is migrated? Uh, I mean, what is migrated? Can you can you name some examples? For me or for all students, doctor. أعتقد لكل السؤال تقدرون تقولوا لي شنو يعني ليش الهجرة أو الـ migrated تصير؟ Can you say me, Zainab? Yes, sir. Can you answer what what is transferred in migration? We transfer a uh, process from one machine to another machine. Okay, okay. What is transferred? What is transferred? What is migrated? I think what I say because sometimes we have. No, no, no. I'm talking about what, what, what we migrate, what, what we transfer to another machine, what, what data is transferred to another machine, what data is migrated, what is migrated. Reviews data on the main calculator. You mean uh, computer? Data transfer operations. What is when I say what is migrated? I, I, I didn't say what is migration. What is migration? Okay, so you can say that when we want to transfer a process from one machine to another machine. But what is migrated means what is transferred, what we transfer to another machine. What? I talked about it. All the data that a process may need it. For example, registers, the value of registers must be migrated. Flags must be migrated. PCB, process control block, that contains many information about the process, it is migrated, it is transferred also. And a stack area, heap area, almost all things must be migrated. We must transfer almost all things. Clear? You're welcome. So I missed Miss Zainab. Where is he? Where is her? Lot. Sorry, sir. Can you hear me now? 
Yes, yes. Where are you? Sir, I have a newborn baby and he, his hand move a lot, so he breaths oh, uh, sorry. mute. Mm, <laughs> sorry, yeah, sir. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse no, me. No, it's okay. No, no, it's okay, sir. بنات نانا السؤال شنو هو what is migrated يعني شنو الشيء اللي نقلناه مو معنى ال migration شنو هي الهجرة لا هذا شنو هو الشيء اللي نقلناه شنو الشيء ده نقله من one machine to another من حاسب الحاسب أو من معالج المعالج الثاني هنا راح ننقل ال data راح ننقل ال ال register راح ننقل ال stack data اللي هي تكون بال memory ننقل ال hub area ال stack area ننقل ال PCB ال PCB اللي يكون بمعظم التفاصيل إذا إحنا الشيء اللي راح ننقله من one processor to another processor راح ننقل ال data المعلومات الخاصة بكل مشروع أو كل برنامج كل مشروع كل شيء قاعد نشتغل عليه راح ننقله هو وهذا الشيء اللي راح ننقله هذا السؤال كان what is migrated يعني شنو الشيء المنقول أو المهاجر مو معنى ال شنو هي ال migration بنات احتذر تراني ابن صغير ونت عمره شهرين ويمكن قاعد احشي سريع لانه هو مدى الاحق وياه فاذا اكو شيء ما فاهمه يا ريت تقولوا لي عليه. Well, uh, again I'm sorry I, I can understand it's very difficult to study especially for those who are married. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it's difficult. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay, sir. Uh, now we want to talk about different methods of migrations. Different methods. I, I mean, we now understand what is migration. We understand what should be migrated. What is transferred. What is migrated. What we want to know how we can migrate, how the process can migrate. Uh, there are many different methods to migrate a process from when one machine to another machine in this with the system. I named some of the most important methods, but there are many different combination of these methods and other methods too. So, we we want to talk about the first method it is eager all translate then i can explain about it okay اكو كثير من الطرق اللي نقدر بها نقوم بعمليه الهجره نقل المعلومات بعضها تكون راح نحكي عن المشهوره منها اكو تواصل بين اكثر من نوع واحد من اهم واحد من انواعها اللي هو eager all راح نشوف شنو معنى اوكي دكتور Okay, uh, eager all. It is the first method. In this method, we transfer all things of the process. We transfer all things of the process. No trace of the process is left behind. That is, all things on source machine will be removed and will be created on the destination machine. With eager all method, we firstly change the state of the process to wait or block or sleep and then move it to the destination machine. Translate? Okay. بالطريقة الأولى اللي هي eager راح ننقل كل ال كل ال 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 process ننقلها كلها. من الحاسبة ما أو من المعالج مالتنا للمعالج الثاني ما نترك أي شيء بالحاسبة ال ال قصدي بالسي بي يو اللي كان عندنا ننقل السي بي يو الثاني يعني ننقل البروسيس كله في قبل عملية النقل لازم تكون عملية يعني نخلي حالة البروسيس مالتنا سليب أو أو ويت يعني نخلي يعني بوقت يعني بحالة ركود بعد ما حاولنا الحالة ركود نبدأ عالية النقل ونقل كل شيء ما البقي أي شيء. In other words, we firstly stop the process on the source machine and then we start to transfer all the data of the process to the destination machine. Then we create a process on destination machine. The data is transferred. And then we can start the process on the destination machine. 
It is eager all. Okay. إذا إحنا راح نوقف كل شيء نوقف كل العمليات بال بالمشين مالتنا وراح ننقل كل الديتا من المشين مالتنا للمشين الهدف اللي إحنا راح يعني نبدي بها المعالجة من جديد بعد ما توصل كل الديتا كل المعلومات والبيانات للحاسبة الثانية بذاك الوقت راح نبدي بتشغيل المعالجة بال بال destination machine يعني بالحاسبة الهدف اللي نقلنا لها كل المعلومات مالتنا. Uh, also, it may seem to be good, but it has a big problem. The problem is about when our address space is large. Address space, address space means uh, all the data of the process is stored in this space. Flags, registers, process information, heap area, stack, everything. It is called address space. Okay. If the address space is very large, and if the process does not need most of it, then this approach may be expensive because we we have to transfer all this large data to the destination machine. It costs communication. So in this case, it may be too expensive to translate. Can you just repeat it again? Sorry, sir. Uh, I said in with this method, eager all, we transfer all the data, all the data related to the process from source machine to the destination. Now, if this address space, address space means uh, the all the all this data is stored in address space. Address space of the process means it it has flags, registers, uh, process information, PCB, and also heap area and everything else that the process needs. These are in address space. If this address space is large, and if the process does not need most of it. Then transferring this large address space to the destination machine may be too expensive because it's about communication. We, we, we have to communicate with the destination machine and we have to transfer a large data to the destination machine. So it may be too expensive. Okay, so, uh, Mr. data. فالأكو في شيء اسمه الأدرس سبيس هذا الأدرس سبيس راح يكون بيه كل معلومات تخص الديتا بالرج الرجستر بال ال الستيك أريا الهيب أريا ال بي سي بي وغيرها من التفاصيل فراح إحنا في هاي العملية النقل راح ننقل لارج يعني كمية كبيرة من الداتا من ونز مشين تو أنا يعني من حاسبة حاسبة ثانية أو من جهاز الجهاز ثاني فهذا راح يؤدي يكون كلش غالي يعني اللي راح يكون الكوميونيكيشن اتصال كلش غالي انه راح ننقل كميه كبيره من الداتا في وقت واحد او يمكن من مكان الى مكان اخر فهذا راح يكون اكسبنسيف هاي واحده من المشاكل هاي الطريقه اوكي دكتور The other method is pre-copy uh, In this method we do not change the state of the process to a slip. We do not stop the process on source machine. I mean, why the process is running on source machine, we start to make a copy of the process to destination. It means when the process is running in the source machine, we we start to transfer all the data of the process to to the destination machine. Then, in one time, we freeze the process on source machine and we start the process on the destination machine. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. ريكوفي هاي النسخ بهاي الطريقة الثانية من طرق الميغريشن هنا ما راح نوقف العمل بالحاسب أو بالمشين مالتنا ما راح نوقف العمل أثناء العمل راح نعمل نسخ من ال من ال الداتا اللي نريد ننقلها يعني ما راح نحول حالة مالت ال البروسيسور إلى سليب أو غيرها لا 
اثناء العمل بينما هو قاعد ينفذ مع العمليات راح ناخذ كوبي او نسخه من هاي العمليات او الداتا ونعطيها للحاسبه الثانيه ما راح توصل للحاسبه الثانيه راح نوقف العمل بهاي الحاسبه ونشتغل نعمل بالحاسبه الثانيه راح نوقف يعني نجمد العمل بالحاسبه السورس يعني مصدر ونبلش العمل بالحاسبه الديستنيشن الهدف اثناء العمل يعني ما راح نوقف اي شيء راح نعمل كوبي اوكي سو It has an advantage and a disadvantage compared to the previous method. The advantage is about reducing the time that the process is frozen. Why? Because in eager all, the previous method, we firstly stop or freeze the process on source machine and then we transfer all the data to the destination. And after we finish our transfer, uh, we can start the process on destination. So there is a freeze time here. But in this method, pre-copy, while the process is under execution, we start uh, copying and transferring to the data to the destination. So when once we finish the copy, uh, in one time we freeze or we stop the process on source machine and start it immediately on destination so we have a low uh, a reduced freeze time here it is an advantage translate okay هاي طريقة لها فوائد ومضار فائدتها انه راح تقلل الوقت يعني الوقت المهدور او الوقت المجمد مثل ما قلنا قلنا بالطريقة الأولى راح ننقل راح نوقف أول شي حالة البروسيسور راح نخليها سليب وبعدين ننقل كل الداتا من وين مشي من حاسبة لحاسبة ثانية بعدين راح نبلش العمل هذا لا هو أثناء التشغيل أثناء إنه البروسيسور قاعد يبدأ بعملية معالجة راح ناخذ كوبي وننقل للمشين الثانية الجهاز الثاني وبالتالي هذا راح يقلل الوقت يعني عمل العملية مستمرة إحنا بس مجرد ننقلها من حاسبة لحاسبة ثانية فهي واحدة من فوائدها إنه تقلل الوقت تريديوس ذا تايم. But there is a disadvantage. No, Miss Rasho, there is not a, a, a correct answer for this question. We do not know which method is better. It depends on our application. It depends on the system. It depends on many things. Okay. Uh, the disadvantage is about uh, recopy or repeated copy. For example, Assume that we are transferring and copying the data to the destination machine. I said in this method the process is under execution. When the process is under execution, it may change some values, for example, register values or values of local variables may be changed. So we may we may have to repeat the copy because we need to transfer the new value of this data to the destination. It is disadvantage. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, the one thing, like the matter, is that we are not going to transfer the data after the copy. It may be that there is a gap or a gap in the value. فايش راح نسوي؟ راح نحتاج انه نعيد النقل مرة ثانية حتى ننقل هاي القيمة الجديدة اللي تغيرت اثناء النقل، وهاي وحدة من مضارة انه لازم نحتاج نعيد انه راح يكون اكو في التغيير بالقيم ان احنا راح ننقل اثناء العمل، فيمكن راح يكون اكو تغيير بالقيم نحتاج نعيد الكوبي مرة ثانية ونرسله، فهاي وحدة من مضارة. Eager Dirty is the name of other method of migration. Uh, in, in the previous method, pre-copy, we make a copy of all things of the process. All things, okay? But, uh, when, when, when I say all things, I exactly mean that all things uh, all data uh, stored in main memory and on hard disk. You know, when a process is under execution, its data may be 
in main memory or maybe on hard disk. So in the previous methods, we transfer all the data, both those data which is in main memory and those data which is stored on hard disk. But here, but here, eager dirty, we move, we transfer all things from main memory, only main memory to the destination machine. The data which is stored on the hard disk of source machine is, uh, is not transferred to the destination machine. So if the process on the destination machine needs the data that is left on the source machine, on the hard disk of the source machine, it can refer to it. It can send a request to access the data. Is it clear? Okay, so Yes, sir. Uh, eager, dirty. بهاي ال 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 الطريقة هاي تختلف عن الطريقة الأولى. طريقة الأولى إحنا نقول كل شيء. مثل ما نعرف إحنا إنه أثناء المعالجة ال processing ال data راح تكون أما مخزونة بالmain memory بالذاكرة الرئيسية أو راح تكون مخزونة بالhard disk. فبالطريقة الأولى راح نقولها كلها الموجودة بالmain memory والموجودة بالhard disk. أما بهاي الطريقة لا. راح ننقل بس الجزء من ال data راح ننقل الجزء من ال data اللي موجودة بالmain memory. اللي موجودة بالهارد ديسك راح تبقى بال بال بالحاسبة أو بالجهاز مالتنا. فإذا الجهاز الثاني راد الديتا الموجودة بالهارد ديسك راح يرسل طلب إلها إنه طلب إنه دزولي هاي راح ندزلها. بس بهاي الطريقة لا ننقل جزء من الديتا اللي هو يكون مخزون بالمين ميموري. أوكي؟ Is it clear for all the students? بنات واضح لكم كلكم. Very good. So this method is good if process is temporarily going to another machine. The process is going to another machine for a temporary purpose, for a short time, and it, it wants to go back immediately. So this method is good because we do not need to transfer all the data to the destination machine. Transfer. آه هاي الطريقة تفيد إذا كانت عملية النقل مؤقتة يعني ما نحتاج ننقل كل الديتا الحاسب الجهاز الثاني بشكل دائمي فراح ننقل جزء من الديتا بشكل مؤقت إلى أنا يعني إلى حاسبة ثانية هاي واحدة من فوائد هاي الطريقة إنه إذا نقلنا يعني أجرينا عملية البروسيسنج إن أنا ضرب بشيء بحاسبة ثانية بشكل مؤقت أو بشكل مدائم. We talked about its advantage. But what is the disadvantage? Can you guess? I think we lost some of data when we moved from one location to another location. Yes, exactly. The disadvantage is that both the source machine and the destination machine are working through the life of the process. It means we have two machines running for that process because we 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 left some 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 data on the source machine so if the process on the destination machine needs to access that data it it sends some request to the source machine and both machines are working it is the disadvantage اوكي مظهر هاي الطريقة انه اثنيناتهم البروسيسنج بال بجهازنا وبالجهاز اللي الثاني راح يكون راح راح يكونون يعملون بنفس الوقت فمثل يعني قلنا انه الجهاز الثاني راح يرسل طلب على مود يرسل له الداتا راح يكون هذا باثناء تنفيذ بالجهاز الاول ويمكن راح نفقد ديتا او راح يعني نخسر ديتا في اثناء عملية النقل هاي اوكي سير سو بليز كيب ان مايند in this method, eager dirty, the data related to the process that is stored on hard disk is left on demand. On demand means we do not transfer it and the process on the destination machine can request to access this data. It is called on demand. Okay. Uh, 
الداتا الموجودة بالمين ميموري راح تكون اون ديماند يعني حسب الطلب ما راح يحتاجها البروسيسنج البروسيسر الموجود بالحاسبة الهدف او الحاسبة الثانية راح يدز الطلب هذا راح تكون يعني الداتا اللي بالهارد ديسك الداتا بالمين ميموري احنا نقلناها اصلا للحاسبة الثانية اما الداتا الموجودة بالهارد ديسك حسب الطلب اوكي سو Copy on reference is the name of other method of migration. Copy on reference. Uh, in this method, everything is on demand. It's clear. Everything is on demand in this method. That is, we do not transfer any data to the destination. We only, we only create a process on the destination machine and we do not transfer the data of the process from source to the destination. Everything is on demand. If the process on the destination needs to access to the data, it can send a request to source machine. Clear? Yes, sir. This is all going to be based on the request. We are not going to transfer data from the other machine. راح ن راح نكون معالجه او يعني نحضر كل الاجواء للمعالجه بالجهاز الثاني بس ما راح ننقل ديتا راح ننتظر الجهاز الثاني اذا طلب الديتا راح ننقل الديتا من الجهاز الاول للجهاز الثاني اذا هاي العمليه كلها راح تكون كلها حسب الطلب مو جزء منعتها كلها حسب الطلب so okay. the advantage is that uh, it has a low initial cost of process migration it is very light. Why? Because we do not transfer anything. It is light. But the disadvantage is that if the process frequently needs to access the data, we will have communication cost. That's it. Okay. فوائد هاي الطريقة انه راح تكون خفيفة ما راح تكلفنا اي شيء ننقل الديتا حسب الطلب بس انه مشكلتها مشكلتها انه راح يكون اذا صار الطلب بشكل عاجل راح نحتاج انه يعني ننقلها بسرعة وهذا واحدة من ال disadvantage Okay, doctor. Thank you. Don't worry. It's the it's the last method, and then I will finish the this chapter this this session. Okay, so don't worry, Zena. Uh, this is the last method of migration called flushing. Flushing means we firstly we firstly flush all things, all the data of the process. I'm talking about the process on source machine here, okay? We, 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 we firstly flush and store all the data of the process which is in main memory to the hard disk of the source machine. So we firstly release the main memory of the source machine and store all the data on hard disk and then we act as we act as Copy on reference strategy it means we do not transfer anything. But in this method, we free the main memory because we store all the data of the process on hard disk of the source machine. That's it. Can you just repeat it again? Sorry, sir. Yes. I'm sorry, doctor. Yes, no, no problem. In the previous method, copy on reference, I said every process, every process has data. Some data is in main memory and some data is stored on hard disk. In copy on reference, we do not transfer anything. The data is left on source machine, on main memory and hard disk. And if the process on destination needs to access this data, it can send request. Okay, it is copy on reference. But in flushing, we firstly store all the data of the process which is in main memory to hard disk. So we transfer, we store all the data of the source machine 
from its main memory to hard disk and then we act as copy on reference it means we do not send anything to the destination machine again and all the data of the process is stored on hard disk here in this method that's it okay so بالطريقة اللي السابقة الكوبي اون ريفرنس قلنا انه ما راح نطل شيء كله راح يكون حسب الطلب ومثل ما قلنا انه الديتا اثناء البروسيسنج اما تكون مخزونة بالمين ميموري او تكون مخزونة بالهارد ديسك هاي بالاون الكوبي اون ريفرنس يعني راح يكون ما راح ننقل شيء ننتظر حسب الطلب هاي الطريقة لا اول ما راح نبدا راح ننقل كل الديتا من المين ميموري راح ننقلها للهارد ديسك وبعدين راح نتصرف مثل الطريقة اللي قبلها، يعني بقي كل شيء عندنا بس نهيئ الأجواء بالحاسبة الثانية أو بالجهاز الثاني، ومن راح يريدون ديتا راح ننقلهم الديتا اللي كلها راح تكون موجودة بالهارد ديسك، نقلناها إحنا من المين ميموري للهارد ديسك. أوكي سمعتوا بنا؟ ثانك يو. أعيد إذا واضح؟ يس، هارد ديسك إن سورس، إن سورس ماشين، يا. Uh, the advantage of this method compared to the previous method is that we free the main memory of source machine. That's it. It's the advantage. We do not, we do not uh, hold anything in main memory of the source machine. We, we, we store all things in the hard disk of the source machine. And, uh, and finished. That's it. Okay. اوكي فائدة هاي الطريقة انه احنا راح نخلي الميموري راح راح نكون يعني كل الديتا او كل الميموري راح تنقل من الميموري للهارد ديسك اذا هاي الفائدة الوحيدة لهاي الطريقة انه انه راح نخلي مساحة بالميموري انه كل المعلومات راح تنقل للهارد ديسك ونخليها عندنا بحاسبتنا بالسورس بالهدف حاسبتنا احنا بجهازنا إذا destination الحاسبة الهدف اللي هي الجهاز الثاني طلبت هاي الديتا راح ننقلها هي بس هو احنا راح ننخي نخلي مساحة بالمين ميموري مالتنا احنا بالسورس ماشين حاسبتنا جهازنا اوكي دكتور uh, here I want to finish this uh, session but I want to know uh, that uh, how was this method how was this method, I mean translating to Arabic. Did you like it? <laughs> we have a good opinion. So bad news for you, yes. there because because it uh, <laughs> it has a lot of trouble for you. I know it has a lot of trouble for you, but the students agree with this yes. method. <laughs> yes. Uh, if if there is any any other student that can translate to Arabic, if if there is any students that is good in English, so Not we can use okay. no, no, I, uh, I her can because we know that it's difficult for life, Zena no. because of his new baby. Yes, sir. No, no, I can't do that. If everyone needs me, I can't do that. Really? Okay. Okay, so so please, please attend to all classes because we need you for translating. And uh, again, I thank, thank you sir. for thank your you. translation and I hope uh, you have a good night. And you're welcome. You, we, we, we see each other in next session. Have a good night.